she was rocking the beer gut And I love the way she's not ashamed Rocking the beer gut Well, it's just some extra love around her waist Rocking the beer gut She's more than hot, she's everything Hey YouTube, I'm back. Um, in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to apply some digital makeup. Um, if I were to teach you in this video how much uh, makeup you can apply, it would take a long time. So I'm just going to show you uh, a few basics. I In this tutorial, I'm only going to do eyeshadow and blush. And um, I'll make another tutorial on um, other things too. So first things get started, I am just going to zoom in on her eye because I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. Okay, it's a little fuzzy, but it's okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is add a layer by going to the top of my taskbar, clicking layer, new layer. And I do suggest when using, or when applying makeup, you name it what you're going to make it, name, uh, what you're going to make out of it. So I'm going to put background eyeshadow. Whoops. And just click OK or click Enter. Um, okay, so now I'm going to double click on my color square down at the bottom left of my screen and it's going to bring up a window where I can blend my colors. Um, she has a hazel eye so I'm going to go for a light blue color look. Um, so maybe a gray. So I'm going to use this color and I'm just going to click OK. And uh, then I'm going to adjust my brush tool, which is also towards the left of my screen. Um, you can adjust this by using the bracket keys, which are to the right of the P key and underneath the backspace key. Sorry about that. And, um, or by going up here and clicking on the arrow and um, moving this. Um, for a hardness, I'm going to suggest about a 70. Um, and uh, a diameter doesn't really matter because you're going to erase um, whatever you're going to use. So I'm just going to uh, go in and fill in the top of her eye. And it doesn't really matter if you accidentally go over. It's okay. Um, so once you're done with that, go over and change your blending options, which is to the right of your screen. Uh, it's automatically set to normal, but you're going to want to change it to color. And definitely want to change the opacity so it doesn't look so harsh. Um, so it's going to give it like a silvery bluish kind of look, which is kind of what I was going for. Um, so I'm just going to keep that and uh, zoom out and go into my other eye and do the same exact thing. I'm in full screen mode so I can't move back and forth so that's why it's harder. Um, and then I'm just going to click on my brush tool again and just do the same to this eye. And as you can see the color uh, has already been preset so I'm not going to have to change the blending options again. Okay, so once this eye is done I'm going to click on my eraser tool and this I'm going to want a really soft brush. I'm going to say about 30. And um, diameter pretty small. And I'm just going to erase the areas that I don't want colored, obviously. And then I'm just going to, whoops, um, do the same exact thing for the other eye. I'm moving this by using my hand tool, just to let you know if you're wondering. Okay, so once I have that, I'm going to, and I think it looks pretty natural, um, I'm going to add another layer by doing it the same way as I did the other one. And on this one I'm going to name it um, just smaller eyeshadow. <laughs> and then click OK or press Enter. And then I'm going to uh, choose the smaller eyeshadow layer, uh, color that I want by double clicking on this color square and 
choosing a different color. So, um, I'll just go with a darker blue. Sounds pretty good to me. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to click on my brush tool. Keep the same uh, hardness, and um, but you definitely want to change the size. And this is going to go just on the lid. And again, uh, you can be as messy as you need to be. And do this with your other eye as well, obviously. Okay, and then again, change your blending options to color. And your change your opacity. And then you can go in and fill in areas that you... Uh, think need filling in <laughs> and then of course go back to your eraser tool keep your same hardness and um, erase the areas that you accidentally over colored and do the same with your second eye of course why wouldn't you um, okay and that is how you do um, a double shaded eyeshadow <laughs> kind of looks a little harsh with the smaller eyeshadow color, so I'm just going to change my opacity a little bit more. And um, Actually with my background eyeshadow color too. It's different when you uh, see it up from far away than when you see it close up. That looks more natural. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is blush. This is going to work the exact same way, so um, add another layer by obviously clicking layer, new layer, and I'm just going to name this blush. And then I'm going to go in and, by clicking on my color square, I'm going to find my blush color. Um, hang on. i just find a color that I like. And that's good. And then, of course, I'm just going to use my, um, whoops, my <laughs> brush tool. And uh, color in the blush, where I want the blush. And obviously, if you realize like you don't like the color afterwards, you can always change it and be patient. And uh, again, just change the, the blending options to color and change the opacity. Oops, sorry. And with blush, opacity is definitely going to be really low. All right, that's about good. Now I'm going to take uh, my eraser tool, but for hardness, I'm going to bring it all the way down to 5, just so it looks like it's been actually brushed on. And uh, then just erase the parts that I don't like. I'm not really spending too much time on this, so obviously it's going to look a little bit more messy. Um, but just to give you a basic idea, you can fiddle around what, with whatever you'd like. And, uh, of course, if you make a mistake, just go back and fill it in with your brush tool. And we're done. That is the double eyeshadow look and some blush. And uh, the blush, actually, I'm going to bring the opacity down even more. And it's definitely going to look more natural. And, as you can see, the eyeshadow and blush look really realistic. So, um... I hope this helps, and, um... She was I, rocking the beer gut, and I love the way she's not ashamed. Rocking the beer gut, well it's just some extra love around her waist. Rocking the beer